Hi guys, it's Anissa from Two Traveling Texans and today I'm in London, um, the Greenwich area as you can see. Behind me is the O2. Um, a lot of people go to concerts there. Um, that's not what we're going to do. We are actually going to climb the O2. They have this attraction called Up at the O2. I don't know if you can see it behind me. It might be a little bit small, but there's like a blue walkway that goes over the top of the O2. And Russell and I are going to climb this. Um, I'm not the bravest person in the world. I don't like roller coasters or any of that kind of scary stuff. So this is a little, okay, this is a lot outside my comfort zone. All good? Yeah? Ooh. I'm just going to wait for the photographer for shouldn't be too long and then I'll explain how to use a latch and um, how the system works. Yeah, my Questions heart is beating. Is it? If you come around this side, for just for now, so I'll show you how to use the latch. Okay, so the way that this works is pretty much like a, a seat lock, okay? If you want to slip or fall, it's just going to lock on and catch you, okay? Um, because of that reason, you won't be able to pull your latch over the O2, okay? So to move it, you do have to put your hand underneath and push it up. If you see this part here, when I push it up, that will open, okay? okay. So when you're walking over the O2, you push it up and you have to bring this with you, otherwise you won't get very far, okay? <laughs> You'll be fine. So this first part here, this is, this is, this is quite, it's quite steep, yeah. yeah. So you see the security cameras up there? Yeah. Once you get past them, it does level out, and then it sort of plateaus as you go over. Okay. So the, the toughest bit will be getting up to those cameras. Okay. Then after that, it's going to be it's gonna be. Crazy. I'm a little bit worried about the going down. Too. Okay, that will be right. Well, we, <laughs> let, let's work on the going up first, okay. and then we'll worry about okay. So if you pop around this side and head on and jump on here, that's it. Once you got over the you know first bit, the walk 
was not too bad. I sort of started get, getting the hang of this thing towards um, when we got up to the viewing platform, but I still not that good. So luckily there's no one um, pushing me from behind. We decided to make it a celebration climb. Cheers. <laughs> It'll be easier. Are you? Yes. Okay. Why is that easier? Well, I won't be looking down for one. <laughs> but it was worth it. I took it slow. I think I didn't ever let go of the rope and I made it and it was a great experience. I definitely will never forget it and I highly recommend that you give it a try. So what did you think? I absolutely loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Um, the, the cable connector thing, the safety harness, um, took a bit of getting used to, but once you got used to that, it was absolutely great. I, I had time to look around the way up, enjoy the view, um, look around the way down, enjoy the view. Um, you made it look a little easy. Well, okay. Um, it, it's hard on your ankles, but... but it, yeah, I, I, I thought it might be difficult with my knees, but it actually wasn't bad on my knees, but with my ankles it was difficult. And then also, it was more of an upper body workout than I expected, oh, because yeah. I was like holding on for dear life. I mean, I felt safe, you know, because I knew that that harness was going to catch me, but I was just worried, like I didn't want to be dangling off. <laughs> it was fine. It, so, it, actually, it was a really good time. Thoroughly enjoyed it. So I'd recommend it. It's good fun. So if you liked the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And you can check out more information about Up at the O2 and all of our other travels at twotravelingtexans.com with one L. Thank you. <laughs>